So this week we are going to be doing a draft of sorts. We are going to be drafting the best brands for shoes. All right, so we, we came up with a list of brands, each of us independently, and we are going to create a team and we wanna see who has the better team after this is all said and done. Yeah, so we came up with three main things that we're focused on for coming up yeah. with this team. Number one is average sale price. And we are basing this completely on our own experience, not on comps, because I think that is the best way to do this, especially given that Tyler is not super in with comping things as much as I am. It would be an unfair advantage based on sell-through rate and based on findability. Now, this one is important because if we're one of us throws out Louis Vuitton, which neither of us have ever found before, out we've of the seen, wild. We've seen it. Oh, we've seen it. We just can't ever buy it because it's usually, if they recognize it as real, it's several hundred dollars. Right. And that does not hold value to our business. So we'll see how this goes. Each one of us is allowed to fight the other one's point. We have to give valid reasons for our drafts. So yeah, do we want to just see who goes first? Who Who's going to win this? Ready? <laughs> All right. So you start off. All right. That was a process in of it, in and of itself. That's a whole separate video. It was us just doing rock, paper, scissors, apparently. Apparently. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go one at a time, drafting from top to bottom, best draft pick to the worst draft pick, and I guess may the best person win? So I'm going to probably surprise no one, and I'm going to go with Rothy's. Okay. All right. I did it's not. It's not my first. So I'm, I'm good with that. What's your reason? So we've actually found them surprisingly often. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so, so we found them decently. They have a, the How many times have we found them? Four or five? Six. Six, 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 six times? Yeah, there okay. you go. It's okay. So I, it's I will help you, I guess, with your draft pick. So a decent amount of times. Highest average sale price for something that we found fairly consistently. I have $83.83. Uh, we've sold literally every pair and the she's disagreeing with the average sale price because some of them have gone in the bundle. I just took the listed price. Uh, no, actually, I'm disagreeing because some of them sold not on Poshmark. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's, that's this, also this true. This is fair. This is fair. Yeah. Okay, that's a solid pick. That's a solid pick. There are some colorways that are amazing. Yeah, solid. Solid start. So solid start, I think. That's un undeniably deserves to be on the list. All right, so number one for me. <laughs> that's dangerously low on your list. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Number one. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be Hocus. Oh, uh, of course That's... it is. Now, now we don't have 100% sell-through rate here. We've got 12 out of 13. But given that, we'd only found six Rothies and we found 13 Hocus. Findability is much higher. The average sale price for this is $48.23. Now, this is lowered a little bit because some of the ones we found were damaged and we picked them up anyways. We've got some really great ones too, sold for like $70. Sea orange awesome ones that we found when we went every day to the thrift. The, the, I brand, that video. the brand new. Amazing. Yeah. So this is something we find a lot. It's easy to clean. Yeah. I... That was actually my competing for top spot. Yeah. I, I was mm -hmm. going back and forth and I was I, I think hoping, I'm starting off strong, guys. I was hoping you wouldn't. And just so it. you guys know, yeah. you guys get to let us know who won the draft. We do not get to pick, so the comments are going to determine that. So please be putting your comments in there as we go. We want to know who you think won. Solid choice. All right. All right. I think I'm, I'm, I took a hit there. Okay. Uh, All, right. All right. I'm going to go with Birkenstocks. Okay. 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 Now What's your reason? We've found them again more consistently than we would think i've seemingly have a nose for them as of late especially you do. i found like four or five pairs you were accused of selling fake ones i was not you were you listed them you picked them out uh, so i don't know i know who who was accused here very respectable average sale price 52 dollars or so very very strong sell through at 85 percent sell through we found like six or seven pairs and we've sold almost all of them. Okay, so but, I, but like I could like attack your pick, right? I mean, I, mean, I had it high on my list, but since I can't have it, let's poke some holes here. It's seasonal. So, I mean... It's seasonal, but also not seasonal because people buy them in warmer climates year round. Let us know, guys. Do you guys have experience selling Birkenstock? Do you find it slows down during the winter? Does that hurt him that he's at the number two pick? I don't know. You guys let us know. All right, are we ready for my number two? I already know what it is. You do? I'm betting. My number two is Noble. Oh, I did not see that one okay. coming. Oh. All right. So... I didn't even make my list. So Noble for us, we've only found it three times, but we have 100% sell-through rate. It's something that is not recognized in our thrift stores at all. So they're always priced super, super low. They're super easy to clean and they're really trendy right now. So we've got an average sale price on these at 56.66. 66 
So it's a really good average sale price. The, the only drawback is we haven't found it a ton. Admittedly, I only learned about it a few months ago. So I'm going with, you know, I just didn't know. I just didn't know. So solid, solid. Yep. You don't have anything, any holes. Uh, no, it's a solid choice. I think we haven't found it very often. So I don't know how much it it's going to fall off the findability because you found it, what, twice? Maybe Three times. And three. we sold it all three times. So, okay. Okay. Well. So my next choice is going to be another sneaker brand. Okay. On cloud, oh, on running. Man, I have that on here too. So oh. we found it more often than we found no ball. It has sold every single pair that we've ever purchased. This is true. And it has has a very respectable ASP of forty three dollars. This is true. So it's a very high ASP. Sold all of them. We have not kept them. Same as Rothy's and, and a couple of the other ones off of my list so far. That they just they. Don't stay. They stay. They sell fast and they're gone. Now, when he says more often, we found them four times versus three times. I mean, that's still more. That's uh -huh. that's twenty five percent more. And what is the number one problem we have with every one that we found? Basically, I think minus one. Uh, the soles wear out pretty uh, quick. No, no, no. There's never insoles. I don't know what's going on here. That's that but is we also never true. have insoles for on cloud. Yeah. So. I'm just saying. Well, I it think, doesn't help that the dogs chew on them a, f a few That doesn't times, help so. either. But I'm just saying, it seems to be only it's on a, clouds that have this problem. I'm just saying. That's not true. I've seen it in a lot of other brands. That we've brought home? Uh, no, because no. we usually leave them behind. Okay. That, I mean, solid. Solid choice. Solid choice. You, you've knocked off a lot of mine. So, number three, I think I'm on. Am yep. I on number three? Because that's not what I'm on on my list here. You are on number three. All right. So, number three. I have Troy Birch. Damn it. Yes. Damn it. So so this one I struggled with, I'm not going to lie, because Tory Burch, the Riva Flats were what was really trendy, everyone wanted them, and honestly, they're kind of falling off. So I was a little bit struggling, but I did the math here. Now, I have sold 12 out of the 14 that I found, and the average sale price is $64.58. Now, this is pulled up by a few things. We have a pair of green heels that were sold for like 70 something dollars. We have a few other pairs of shoes that sold for quite a bit. And as I said before, Rivas Flats used to be worth a lot. So those average prices earlier are higher than now. So, you know. I mean, that's a solid pick. I, I think it's overweighted a little bit because a lot of the ones that we found uh, more recently were basically new. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get that premium price that really significantly drags that up. So if the condition isn't there, it can really hurt the value. Yeah, the condition is often bad. I did yeah. write that down. But you know what? They clean up really well. And the flip-flops that we sold were like $70. And they were just plain flip-flops. Those were brand new flip-flops. But they're the flip-flops. And the, the heels that you mentioned, they're also basically brand new. So that's, I think that's overweighting that 12 sold a little bit. Oh, mister, I had to cross it off my list. So I'm going to poke holes in it. Yeah, it is, it's, cro solid. it's crossed right. off my list. That was literally my next dress. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to mix it up. Oh. Uh, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going Teeks. Okay. Oh. Teeks. We how many times we found teaks? Four. Uh, no, how many times we brought home teaks? Twice. <laughs> so we have, on probably more occasions than act, actually, probably like four or five times, we found half of a teak. Oh, yeah. So we found one of the two in the pair, probably three or four times at this point, and then we've picked up a few times. So it, it is sleeper more accessible than you would think because... We've seen them more mm -hmm. often than twice. Again, both pairs have sold. Sold within a day for this both both of them. They both sold instantly. They're not going to stay if you find them. The thrift stores don't recognize them. And they just go. They're gone. They're gone. And a highest ASP out of anything on the list. Which at is? 115 Dang. So over 100 bucks ASP. They are a sleeper hard to find, but they are, they are there. You just have to keep... Being persistent and just going all the time, but yes, yeah, solid choice. Yeah, it's 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 solid. I mean, we have barely ever found it, so I don't know how valuable it is to our business. But oh, you, know. you found one three times, <laughs> and that's just one less. That's not that's not even that bad. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We've been looking for teaks no. for quite a while, but you know, yeah, yeah, no, it's good. All right, fine. Number four for me, and this one actually I did not expect to be on my list. So I'm not going to lie to you. Is Alberts. Now, Ooh. I was not going to put this on my list because I have been feeling a little bit disenchanted with Allbirds lately. Um, they haven't been selling as quickly as I wanted, not for as high a price as I wanted, but I looked at it. I have sold 8 out of 13 that I've picked up, average sale price of $31, and I got to tell you, the Tree Breezer Flats are 
bolos. If you're not selling tree breeds or flats, you found you need those to twice. Don't even twice in one trip, and they sold fast, and they double sold. So they're really popular. They sold right. for I think no. like seventy dollars for the. Tree I'm breezers. gonna poke holes in this one because oh, off of my list, off of the twenty that I came up with, they had the worst and lowest sell through rate out of everything that I had on my list. Well, yes, the sell through rate is not that good because so the findability no. is very high. So there are two things that we have to look at with this one. I price them up really high because I want to see the best price I can get for them. I find them a lot. So I think the findability is really good. If I were to lower my price, the sell through rate would be higher. So I could make more money on them. Yeah, but then you would have a lower margin. You'd have a lower ASP. But I can sell more and more of them. Okay. I, so, I, just, I mean, I'm just saying, findability lowest, is really lowest high. Lowest sell through rate of anything that is on my list. Highest findability far. of everything on the list so far. I mean, that's fair, okay. actually. So. Highest findability, lowest sell through. I think that's just hey, an you know, indictment. We got to do what we got to do to get this team put together. Findability is important. All right, so I'm going to go with a staple, and I think this is a solid sleeper because of the current financial climate. Okay. Dance goes. Okay, okay. Dance goes are workwear. Nurses love them. They are easily findable. Uh, the thrift stores do recognize them, and yes, they, they do, do have some condition yes. issues a lot of the time, but if you can find them in good condition, they are going to sell, and they're going to sell for very good money. So you have... Uh, almost an 80% sell through and an ASP of around $42. Now that is overweighted because a couple of them were special special and they had great patterns and great texture on them. But if you can find the clogs in, in especially clogs that stand out, totally worth a grab. And I think it's an undervalued pick. I mean, he's, he's, really selling this. And don't get me wrong, dance goes are great. We've talked before about the fact that you need to buy things that people need, not things that people want. But let's let's not ignore the obvious here. Dry rot. Dry rot is rampant in dance goes and not only dry rot, but the biggest problem we run into when we find dance goes is the siding of it is completely worn off. And to find something that doesn't have the siding worn off that's affordable is basically a unicorn. That's not a unicorn. We find Dance goes all of the time. We don't pick them up all of the time because of the condition use, but we find it quite often. I don't know if findability counts if they're too damaged They to are pick up. everywhere. I mean, they are all around. You have to be a little bit selective, but once once you see the, the special ones, you, you buy them all the time. Dry rot can be a sleeper, and you might not know it until you send it to the buyer and they try it on their foot and it disintegrates. So, I mean, just is bend, findability... Just bend test a little bit. Don't be a baby. It, does findability count if it's found often, but you never can pick it up? You let us know. Let us know. I'm starting to get into a little bit of shady territory. I'm not going to lie to you here. What number are we on? Uh, five. All right. So, number five. You're going to fight me, and I know this, but here we are. Number five, I'm going to do Kizik. You found it one time. <laughs> I, one, I knew, I one time. One time. One time. Okay, yes, we found it one time. No, it nope, sold within that's... two days. It sold within two days. It is a very popular TikTok brand. If you don't know about the shoe, it's basically something you can just slip on. It's, nope, it's that's a sleeper. Wrong. That's wrong. And the thrift stores do not know it at all. It was priced very, very low. And as from what I can see in the community, it's always priced low because thrift stores don't recognize it. So you gave me a hard time for finding twice the number of teaks <laughs> at a much better average sale price. How do, no, how dare you? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, yeah. I just think it no. is a bolo that is absolutely worth knowing about and it's something that, you know what, I want it on my team because if I do find it again, it's going to be pushing me up there. I don't even have that on my list. Oh, well, I do. I'm going to go with Fry. Okay, okay. Now, Fry is more known for their boots, which we are not counting that as part of the shoe category, so that is a separate video. They are known for their boots and leather work. For the sneakers and the shoes, the, the trend that I'm seeing is the actual sneakers, the white sneakers and the black sneakers that are just the slip-on regular everyday shoes are the ones you want to find because we've sold them consistently for $50 or so. Decent average sale price at $37. Better sell through than Allbirds by a good bit. And we find Fry quite a lot. We found it very often. So Fry is very well known for its boots and I'm not going to talk about that because that's not this video but the sneakers and the ballet flats are fine they're fine they don't do great they do fine i find a lot of trouble selling them i find i have to relist them a lot and just meh. 
fine. You can have it. It wasn't even on my list. Yeah, well, you've had like six that have not been on my list. Well, so. I mean, so I don't know. You guys let us know. What is your experience with fries that are not boots? Just, I'm curious how everybody else feels about them. Number six. Oh, oh. I know this is a fight because he actually fought me about this brand before we started recording, not knowing it was on my list. So, number six is Prada. Now. Oh, no, you can't just say pro. You can't throw designers I out can, there. I can. I no, can because, no. because, because we said we couldn't throw designers out there because of findability, right? However, we have found Prada three times. Sold yeah. them twice. And I actually sold it three times, but it did not get paid for, so it's still being sold in my closet so two out of three times it is well known so it is often priced up so i just want to like you know get that out yeah, of the way uh, absolutely that's that's but garbage average sale price of 80 dollars. so super high average sale price we have found it multiple times no. mr teeks so uh, i'm just saying i'm just saying you're throwing prada and kissing i think that's Half of my list accounts for all of yours combined for findability. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, three is more than two, is it not? I'm just, I'm just saying. Fine. I'll let you have that one. Didn't, didn't make my list. I was trying to play without the designers. I think a designer that we found multiple times counts. I mean, you guys let us know. I mean, you heard our rules. Let us know. Having said that, mm -hmm. I'm going to get so much flack for my next choice. Because you just, you just went hard? I just went hard into the hypocrisy. Stuart Weitzman. Designer? We find that so much more often than Prada. But By you just attacked me for a designer. We've had like 10 pairs of them. It's three times the amount of Prada that we found. It's not even close. Look at the hypocrite. You find so much more Stuart Weitzman out in the wild. And yes, it is priced up and you do have to be selective. But if you're going off of what designer is more likely to be found on a given day, it's Stuart Weitzman all day. Sure, you're gonna find their kitten heels every day, all day. I'm sure that's gonna be great for no, your business. No, we saw the kitten heels, and you sold kitten heels for $90. Oh, wow, okay. First of all, I happen to be really good at style, so Stuart Weitzman's do well for me. I'm just saying, it must be, must be me. I don't know how well you do. Average, average sale price of $61, and You've found so many more than Prada. That's oh, a solid pick. We're going to take an experiment after this, and you're going to pick up all of our Stuart Weitzmans for the next five pickups, and we're going to see what your average sale price is. All right, all right, mister. All right, so my number seven? Yes. I, first of all, this one should have been earlier in our list, but this is this is a flaw on our part, but I'm going with Nike. I was waiting. That's on my list. Okay, so let me let me explain why it's so low on our list. I think this is the same for both of us. We just don't understand Nike very well. However, we have sold five of the seven in average sale price, which is pretty good. This is the problem. We don't get it. So it, findability, super high. All the time. Anytime you go to thrift store, you're going to find Nike. I'm going to disagree with you. That they're always priced out of our, our range in the store. They recognize Nike and you're not going to buy them for less than $15. But people that sell Nike will spend $15 on Nike shoes. Some of them are, we just sold a pair recently. They went through the eBay authentication program that was required. Super smooth. Went in like two days. It was pretty cool. We sold it for $80 and these had pay Sharpie number. So they were drawn on, still sold for $80. Awesome. We've sold a few pairs for really great prices, but we don't know what we're looking for. And it would take a lot to look up every single Nike. So we kind of shy away from it. So that's why it's really low on my list. But if I learned it, it would probably be way better brand than anything else on our list. So I need it on my team. I mean, I think that's uh, it's fair. It's on my list. All right. And Fine. your final pick, what is what is going to wrap up your team? Let us know. I have so many left on my list to choose from. Uh, hmm, uh, choices, choices, choices. I'm going to go camper. Okay. Okay, camper. Mr. I'm complaining about dry rot. Uh, it's less dry rot than Arch. Is Somehow it, it's, it? it's it's probably the same. Okay. It might be okay. the same. So yes, camper, you are going to need to check for dry rot because every single pair we found, uh, we find this a lot more than we pick it up because of the dry rot issues. So it is out there. You just have to be way more mindful of checking the, the soles. So great sale price of $56 for average sale price and a hundred percent sell through. It's sold every single pair you've ever picked up and listed. So it, is flawless it sells thank you ginger marvin 10 out of 10 solid solid wrap-up pick i feel all right so that is tyler's team as we said make sure you're commenting down below who you think won this me or tyler i still have my last pick 
I still have my last pick to go, um, but make sure you're putting those comments down there and let us know if you want us to do more drafts, what draft you want to see next, because these are really fun and actually way more fun than We're going to do them anyway, even if you don't want them, so <laughs> deal with it. All right. All right. To Dr round dr out dr my Drum team. roll. Now, this one is frustrating for me because findability is not where I want it to be. However, I think that this you're is- You're throwing out there that I found this one time again. I am. However, oh, I am going to let this be overcompensated by two things. One, it was found on a live. And for you guys, that stuff, I got to tell you, means more to me, those type of sales, more to me and my business than anything else. You guys helped us out with this one. And second of all, this sold in like, I think two days and we did not expect it. We thought it was a different brand altogether. So we were terrified when we put it up and it sold so fast. So if we can find it again. Oh yeah. And I didn't clean it before I put it up. So I guess cleaning doesn't matter. This is Veja. All right. I mean, all right. Uh, I mean, sold for good money. Found it, it one time. I mean, it sold for $40. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know if you can just say one time fines are going to make the, I don't think that should make the cut. I, I, you know, okay. I'm admitting mm, that we had no. to scrape the bottom of the barrel for this one. Um, however, after I did sell this and I posted it as a bolo on my Instagram, I got flooded with messages about how many of you guys love this brand and didn't know it actually sold as well as, as it does. And that you really like wearing it. So I think that while the findability is low, we haven't known about it for too long. And second of all, mm. it sold dirty in a few days. I think that gives it value. So I, I, you know, I admit it's, it's a week, it's a week end of my list. I have to, I have to deal with what I got to deal with, but I mean, I started off with Hoka guys. I started off with Hoka. Don't let him. I started off with Rothy. What's your point? Like that's, I, 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 I mean, think Hoka's yeah, better than Rothy. Hoka's better than Rothy. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I put it out there. Okay. But I think, that, I think I have a stronger team. That is, that is our teams. You guys let us know. Uh, we'll be back really soon with a new video. Thank you all for watching.